this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can create a React application and we'll be using that application as a progressive web app in upcoming lectures. So first of all, to create a React app, we'll have to install our node package manager, which we call as create React app. So here I'm in the terminal trying to install it using the npm install minus g is for installing it at a global level. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we have installed create react app package, the next step is to make use of the npx command. That's npx, then create react app, and then the name of the app. So over here, name of the app is skill bakery pwa. Now, uh, kindly note that when you are making use of the npx, npx is available with node version 12 onwards. So you have to ensure that you have the latest node version installed on your development system. And then you can make use of the npx command to create the template app using create react app package. And as you can see, this is going to take a couple of minutes and uh, once done, we'll review what files it is generating. And in case you are working on a Windows operating system where your username has got a space in it, in order to resolve such scenarios, what you need to do is launch npm config edit command which will actually open up a file called .npmrc and there you need to update this key value pair user config inside single quotes so in my case it was having a space in between and i had to enclose it in single quotes so that's just a precaution that you have to take when your username contains a space so here you can see currently it's uh, installing template dependencies and was it creates the template app you can see that the suggestion is to go inside the directory using cd and then the name of the application directory and then launch npm start so before doing that let's go ahead and see what all files it has created so you can see there's one file folder called node modules then a public directory which contains a web application and then we have get ignore and package.json files so now in the next one we'll see how we can make some changes to this application and from there on we'll see how we can convert it to a pwa